السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لوکا نفی ہما اللہ لفاسد تھا ناظرین آج ہم آپ کو ویڈیو بڑی ہی کمال کی دکھانے جا رہے ہیں یہ ویڈیو ہے ذاکر نائی کا حافظہ اللہ تعالیٰ کی اور سوال کرنے والے نے بڑا ہی کمال کا سوال کیا اور ناظرین آپ کے ذہنوں میں بھی یہ سوال آتا ہوگا اکثر آپ قرآن پاک کا مطالعہ کریں تو اس کے اندر یہ بات آتی ہے کہ ہم نے یہ بات فرما دی ایسے ہی وہ ایک سوال کرنے والا حبشی و نسل غالباً وہ یہ بات کہہ رہا ہے کہ ذاکر نائی کا حافظ اللہ تعالیٰ سے کہ جب اللہ پاک بار بار قرآن پاک کے اندر یہ بات فرما رہا ہے کہ ہم نے یہ بات کہی ہم نے یہ کر دیا اس کا مطلب اللہ ایک نہیں اللہ زیادہ ہیں تو آخر ذاکر نائی کا حافظ اللہ تعالیٰ نے کتنا اہم جواب دیا نہ یہ ویڈیو بڑی کمال کی اگر آپ دیکھیں گے تو آپ کا ایمان بھی تازہ ہوگا اور یقین مانیے میرے علم کے مطابق آپ کے علم میں بھی اضافہ ہوگا تو آئیے نادین اس بندے کا سوال بھی سنتے ہیں اور ذاکر نائی کا حافظ اللہ تعالیٰ کا جواب بھی سنتے ہیں اور یہ بھی میں آپ کو بتاتا چلوں کہ یہ جو ویڈیو ہے اس کے نیچے اردو یعنی کہ اس کی ٹرانسلیشن کی گئی ہے تو آئیے نادین مل کے ویڈیو دیکھتے ہیں Um, in the course of your assignment, Dr. Zakir Naik, what's your name? What's your name, brother? My name is Ajwang Teofilos Yakubu. Yakub. Yes, sir. Yes. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? I'm a Christian. Okay. Yes, brother. Continue. Um, in the course of your assignment, you gave the concept of God in different uh, religions. which uh, Islam is one of them, which you say Islam believe in Tawheed, which means Islam believe in one God. And in many uh, verses in Quran, you uh, see that when God is uh, speaking, he used the pronouns of we, we. Even when he was creating, like in Quran chapter 95 verse 4, he says that we created man in the best design. He used that uh, pronoun as in we. Uh, which means that it is not only one, it was not only one divine being that was speaking, which means there are, he was with other beings. You understand? I understand your question very well. I'll give the reply. Brother Yaqub, Brother Yaqub. Yes, sir. I know Christian are called Jacob. First time I'm meeting a Christian called Yaqub. Half Muslim already. Inshallah, we pray to Allah to give you hidayah. He already changed from Jacob to Yaqub. Now, from a, true, from a false Christian to a true Christian, inshallah. Brother Yaqub has asked a question that the Quran says we. The Arabic word he wanted to tell is nahnu, we. The Arabic word is nahnu, which means we. So when the Quran refers to we, doesn't it mean more than one God? So even the Quran talks about multiple gods. That's the question. Let me remind you, Brother Yaqub, Do you know English well? Yes. Do you know in English language, there are two types of plural. One is the plural of number. If there are more than one, we say we. One is the plural of respect. When the Queen of England speaks, she says we. When the royal family, when the, have you heard the Queen of England speaking? Or the King of England, Prince King Charles? No, all. He will not say I, he will say we. Even in Urdu, Urdu, there is plural of number, plural of respect. When someone of the royal family, he'll not say my, he'll say hum, we. So anyone from the royal family, when they speak in, in most of the languages, whether it be English, whether it be Urdu, whether it be other languages, most of the languages, there are two types of plural. One is plural of number and the other is plural of respect. So if you have not heard the Queen of England speaking or the King of England speaking, they say we, they are one. How many King of England do you have? One. one. But he says we. So this is the language. If you don't know language, what can I do? The so same thing in Arabic. In Arabic when Allah says nahnu, when Allah is saying we, no Arab will say there are two gods or three gods. Okay. Because the Arab knows Arabic. Second. Arab knows Arabic. You know English, so you should understand that this is also royal plural. Hope I, that answers the question. Can I say something? 
Have you understood the answer? I understand what you're saying. So do you understand the Quran refers to we as a royal, royal plural, one, single. Correct? Yes, but I want to say something. If you have a next question, no problem. First say, okay, thank you. I've understood the first answer. Then you can go to the next question. Unless you don't say understood the first question, I will not allow you to ask the next question. I understand. Very good. Good. But I want to now you can ask the next question. Um, uh, like during the creation, when Allah is creating the earth, because Sorry, during the creation, yes, when Allah is creating the earth, He used the just like we say, He used we. Like creation, it is also that is capable of creating other things. So why didn't He use that I created man in the best de uh, design instead of using that we? Because I He's told, the only one. I told you the answer. Yet you're asking the same answer. Why did Allah not say I? That's Allah's wish. When Prince, when King Charles is speaking, sometimes he says I, sometimes he says we. That is prerogative. Who am I to interfere? Are you God? God can call. Sometimes he calls I. Sometimes he calls we. That is the beauty. Why did he do that? That's God. Correct. I am I'm a doctor. Correct. Sometimes people call me Sheikh Zakir. No problem. Sometimes people call me Akhi Zakir. Brother Zakir. No problem. Sometimes people call me Dr. Zakir. Oh, why don't you call him doctor always? I have no problem. Why do you have a problem? Do you understand? Yes. I am a doctor. Medical doctor. And a PhD doctor, both. Correct? Now when someone calls me Sheikh Zakir, no problem. Someone calls me Akhi Zakir, no problem. Brother Zakir, no problem. So when Allah wants, sometimes he uses the, sometimes he uses I. So what's your problem? So now, now you are half Muslim. Do you believe there's one God? Now do you believe there's one God? I believe there is. God is... Uh, one in being and three in person. That's what I believe because I'm a Christian. You you believe in Trinity? Yes, sir. Can you point out one verse in the Bible which speaks about Trinity? The Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? The word Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible, but but the word Trinity is there in the Quran. Do you know that? Do you know that that the word Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible? You give me reference. I will agree. Tell me one place where the Bible says the word Trinity. Even what the Quran though, says. Even though there is not the word Trinity in the Bible. This is the problem. But, you don't follow the Bible. I follow Bible. But that doesn't mean I that. follow Bible more than you. That's the reason I said. Brother Yaqub. Therefore I said, I'm more Christian than you. Because I follow Bible more than what you follow. Okay. You talk let, about let, me, let me educate you. Talk. Let me educate you. The Bible doesn't talk about Trinity. Quran talks. Quran <laughs> says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 171, <laughs> Don't say Trinity. They say stop it. It's better for you. Quran is telling you, don't say Trinity. The word Trinity is in the Quran. Stop it. It's better for you. Quran repeats the message in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 53. Lakat kafra ladina kalu inna lau saliso salasa. They are doing kufr. They are blaspheming. Those who say God is three in one, Trinity. But why so, is it that. Uh, tawhid, let me finish. Tawhid is not mentioned in the. Let me Quran. finish. Tawhid is not mentioned. Do you want to learn about the Bible or not? You are not telling me anything. I'm a Christian, Christian, no one following Bible. I'm teaching about the Bible, no one to listen. That means you're interested in becoming a better Christian, correct? When someone is talking to okay. you about the Bible, you want to keep. This is the problem. Can I that say means you're programmed to create problem, correct? Can I say something? You know you cannot say. <laughs> okay. Uh, you cannot say because I want to educate you. You, mentioned you are saying I believe in Trinity, something which the Bible doesn't say. So how come you said you're a Christian? You mentioned Tawheed. But can you give me one verse from the Quran that uh, mentioned Tawheed? So that I just want to know. Kul Wallawad. Kul Wallawad. Say the one verse. Surah Ikhlas. Surah Ikhlas. Chapter number 112. Verse number one. Kul Wallawad. Say the Allah one and only. What is the problem? But you didn't mention Tawhid when you are reciting. Yes, it Quran. is. Ahad. No. When? He just, he just, I didn't mention the Tawhid in that verse that he caught it. That's what I'm telling you. Kulwallah, it means Zoid. 
The word, I, I mean the word. The, the word, Bible. the word Tawhid is not in the Quran. The word Tawhid, it is not in the Quran. Can you give it me one from verse? from the word Vahada. If I say the word Vahada is there, I mean Vahada. Tawhid, Tawhid, Tawhid. Tawhid is the Arabic word coming from the root word Vahada. Means believing in unification. The word Vahada is there in the Quran. If you don't know Arabic words, you have heard from some Christian missionary thing. So it is not, then you're repeating. The word Vahada is there in the Quran. You, understand? you don't know. You don't know Arabic. That's your problem. I'm still insisting there is no the word. Correct. I'm telling you it is there. You know Arabic. Why? You don't know Arabic. The word Vahada is there in the Quran. Vahada is the origination of the word Tawheed, meaning to unite, to unify, to consolidate. Now coming to your question of Trinity. The one verse in the Bible which doesn't say Trinity, but some very close close to Trinity, a first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. And these three are one. First epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. And these three are one. This is the closest. But do you know, According to the scholars of Christianity, even this verse is a fabrication. So in the Revised Standard Version, this verse, first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, has been removed from the Bible as a fabrication, as a concoction, as an interpolation. By whom? Not by Muslims, not by Hindus, by Thai Jew scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations. If you read the RSV Bible, Revised Standard Version of the Bible. This verse has been thrown out from the Bible. Because Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, when you are last. Jesus Christ, peace be upon clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. My Father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My Father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devil with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. Either here I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. He never claimed divinity. When he was asked, which is the first of the commandment? It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. Shema Israelo. Hear, o Israel, the Lord of our God is one God. Ji Nadin, aapne ye video banana farmai. To Mashallah, Zakar na ek Hafiz Allah ne bada hi kamal ka jawab diya. To Nadin, aise hi ham Qurane Pak ki aaj ki darar badte hain farmaya lauka na fihi ma illallahu lafasa dada. Agar Allah Rabbul Alamin ki yani zat do hote, yani Allah do hote. तो फरमाया फिर क्या होना था फसाद होना था यानी एक ने फिर कह रहा था मैंने लड़का बनाना दूसरे कह रहा मैं लड़की एक ने कह रहा मजदूर दूसरे कह रहा मैं ठीक बनाना खैर उन दोनों ने लड़ पड़ना था और इंसान ने बनना ही नहीं था तो नाजरीन अगर देखा जाए तो अल्लाह पाक ने दुनिया के अंदर बड़ी बड़ी मसाले देकर समझाया है कि अल्लाह एक है तो नाजरीन अगर आप दुनिया के अंदर देखें कि आप देखें पुराने वक्तों के अंदर जो हमारी माएँ होती थी बूढ़ी वो चरखा चलाती होती थी तो ऐसे एक अल्लाह का वली उनके पास से गुजरा एक बीबी चला रही थी चरखा तो पास से गुजरे अल्लाह का अल्लाह का वली वो कहने लगा बीबी सारी उम्र ये चरखा ही चलाया ये अल्लाह को भी पहचाना है वो बीबी ये बात वो और ये बात कहने लगी कि ये चरखा मेरा बताता है कि अल्लाह है और एक ही है वो कहने लगा कैसे अल्लाह एक है कहने लगी अगर मैं चलाने वाली अगर हम दो होती अगर मैं चलाती आहिस्ता तो वो चलते यानी कि वो कहने कि अगर मैं चला रही हूँ तो चल रहा है अगर दूसरा आए कोई वो मेरी मुखालफ करे यानी मैं आस्था चला रही हूँ दूसरा आए वो इसको तेज़ चलाए तो धागा टूट जाए इसके बाद यानी कि निज़ाम धर्म बरम हो जाए यानी कि मैं चलाती हूँ तो बिल्कुल सही चलता है अगर दो हों तो निज़ाम मुखालफत करे तो धर्म बरम हो जाए सारा निज़ाम ख़त्म हो जाए इससे पता चलता है कि अल्लाह एक है अल्लाह एक है तो निज़ाम चल रहा है अगर दो होते तो पूरी दुनिया का निज़ाम धर्म बरम हो जाता है तो नाजरीन यकीन मानिए कुरान पाक ने भी बता दिया बल्कि आप सूरत अखलास का भी मताल करें उसके अंदर भी अल्लाह पाक ने फरमाया अ मेरे महबूब अल्लाम कुल हुआ आहट कह दीजिए अल्लाह एक है अल्लाह बे न्याज है लम यलिद वलम यूलद वलम यकुल्लू कुफ़ू अन अहद ना उसकी कोई औलाद है ना वो किसी की औलाद है ना उसका कोई हमसर है वो अकेला है तो नाजरी दुआ करें अल्लाह पाक हमें एक रबालमीन की ही इबादत करने की तफीक दे दें जजाकमल खैर असल वरम्ह की वबरकू